boy Lupe, and we are here today with Black and White. Hey, yo, Jay, what is Black and White? Well, Black and White is pretty simple. Black and White is two strong opinions, Black and White, on a hyped fragrance within the community. Um, there's a lot of fragrances that get a lot of discussion, a lot of hype, and Lupe and myself are here to derail the hype train, to give you both sides of the coin, because there's no such thing as a perfect fragrance. So, volume one, today we got Millicene Imperial from the House of Creed. Now, I'm starting with Plain Dirty. I'm going for Below the Belt Blows. I don't care. I'm going in. Creeds are overpriced. Oh my god. If you're going to make any arguments for Creed fragrances, you're going to make it based on heavily discounted prices. Creeds are way too pricey. Even Sean D.D. Combs is on Fragrance Net right now. Enter the base notes code to get 15% off because Creeds are so overpriced, it's ridiculous. 120 mils and I have to pay 300 US dollars? We're not talking about pesos. We're not talking about rupees. We're not talking about yen. $300. Like, are you serious? Are you serious right now? Come on, son. Come on. Oh, sorry, Lupe, bro. Were you talking? Sorry, man. I wasn't listening. The sound of these $20 bills just flapping in the wind. You know, I, I couldn't hear anything. I apologize. Um, but I bet you were arguing Creed's being overpriced. And while I agree with you at retail, I'm going to be predictable and bring up the argument of discounted creeds online, which are super, super easy to get. I paid 120 bucks for this bottle, so for $120, do I think creeds are overpriced? No. At retail, are they overpriced? Yes, but I can easily get it discounted, so to me, I don't know, man. It's not the strongest argument, but because I'm a generous guy, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to buy you a bottle of Millicene Imperial, okay? So here's 20. 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, ooh, we'll drop two there, 80, here's 200 bucks, that'll buy you a bottle of Millicene Imperial and a nice dinner for you and your girl, uh, who by the way said I smelled just fine wearing Millicene Imperial last night. As far as the women at work go, man, crazy, crazy. Everybody love this one. Mad compliments all day long. All day long. And some, some of the comments that I got, the first one, this lady said that it smelled like zucchini. And then she got into talking sexually about a zucchini. <laughs> I don't know. I knew you were going to come with that weak argument against me compliments. Everybody says it. Oh, it's in my top three compliments. Top two compliments. Compliments, compliments, compliments. Ooh, I get so many. So what? Aqua de Gio gets more compliments than Millicent Imperial at a fraction of the cost. Millicent Imperial costs over 300 US dollars. You know how much Aqua de Gio costs? They're basically giving it away free at the mall. Compliments. Come on, that's weak. That's real weak. You can get compliments. I get compliments off of X, okay? When I'm at the gym, doing my workout, girls tell me, hey, you smell good, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to wear Millicent Imperial to get compliments. Come on. It's overrated. Come on, man. You can do better than X at the gym. Pick up some Mugle cologne or something like that. You know, step it up a little bit. Um... You can get compliments on Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce all day, which I'm aware of. Um, however, if you offered me any of those fresh designer fragrances, I'm taking Millicene Imperial over them any day of the week, 10 times out of 10, simply because it smells better. Um, it's been knocked off quite a few times in, in the designer game as well, which kind of speaks for itself. I don't even need to keep talking. Ouch! Uh, oh, okay, it just... It just it just got, it just got, it just got rid Alright, alright, bro. Good point. Real good point there. I'm going to have to agree with you. But now, for my final points. No joking. 
very serious. Whatever it is that you are doing, put it down and listen. Focus all your attention on my voice right now. Longevity issues! Come on! I just sprayed this thing on an hour ago. I can't smell shit! Are you serious? This is supposed to be an EDP? I've, I have all the colognes that work better than this. This is like, it doesn't matter what type of skin you've got. You can have the oiliest skin ever. Your skin could be made of essential oils. You're not going to get l good longevity or projection from Millicent Imperial. This is the worst lasting and projective fragrance that claims to be an odor prefer. You know what? I'm calling out Creed. This is an EDC. Longevity issues. Terrible. Terrible. That's a valid point. It does feel like an EDC to me as well. Even on Creed's website, it's listed as a light fragrance. So that is what they're going for, and there are ways around that for, for these kind of fleeting citrus warm weather fragrances. Simply bring a pocket atomizer with you to work or wherever you may be. Um, I refresh at lunch. I usually get about a three hour projection bubble with this, so I just refresh at lunch, pocket atomizer, and I'm good to go for the afternoon. You kind of get to relive the progression of the fragrance as well. Small price to pay to be radiating this goodness all day long. You can see this is about how much juice I've used this summer. Quite a bit. I wore it more than any other fragrance, and for good reason. I think if you're a man for those hot, blazing days, you can do no better than Millicent Imperial. Yeah, Jay, I think this was a really good first installment. Speaking of Boy Lupe, it was my pleasure to take the dark side for this one. Maybe next time I'll take the white side and try to defend, you know, a fragrance. Um, peace, people. Thanks for watching. Sign out for us, Jay. Definitely, man. This was a great time. Uh, now we want to hear from you guys. Let us know who argued it better. What side of the coin do you fall on? What fragrances do you want to see in future episodes of Black and White? You let us know. Be sure to comment and let us know. Uh, be sure to subscribe to both of our channels. I'll put the links below. And uh, yeah, that's it. I hope you guys have a good one. See you later.